This video features the first test runs on the Greendale and Brownhill Railway of the three clockwork locomotives on the centre shelf. This is a Walker Reemsdyke, I hope I pronounced that correctly, 060 tank. These locomotives were marketed in the 1950s by Walker and Holtzapfel, who later became W&H models. It's fitted with a variable speed controlled clockwork motor made by John Van Reemsdyke, sometimes known as JVR. Railway enthusiasts may know he was a curator who helped set up the National Railway Museum and as he was involved in the development of Astor Gage 1 live steam locomotives. Here's an advert, apparently from the W&H 1953 catalogue, that explains the special features of the controlled clockwork mechanism. The locomotive can be set to crawl along at a slow speed suitable for shunting manoeuvres, which is unusual for a clockwork engine. I haven't yet tested whether it lives up to the claims made for dealing with loads and gradients. This next engine should provide a contrast to the previous one, as it whizzes around the track at the sort of pace more usually associated with clockwork locomotives. The only means of speed control is by adding carriages or wagons to increase the weight of the train. This Hornbeat No. 2 tank dates from late 1926 or early 1927. I'll be surprised to find this sprightly when I'm nearly 100 years old. As with most of our stock, it is in a well play-worn condition. That suits us because we prefer working trains rather than having pristine condition collector's pieces that we would worry about running on our track. I thought a little running in reverse would make a change for this final section of the video. This locomotive has many similarities to the first one shown. The clockwork mechanism is virtually identical, though it is slightly more difficult to set a slow speed without the benefit of the dial mechanism that the 060 has. There are lots of similarities that can be seen in the bodywork, such as the shape of the cab and the cutouts in the side tanks as well as many identical parts, like the dome, chimney and buffers. This leads me to think that this may be another Walker Reemsdyke product, though I haven't yet found any documentary evidence to support this theory. The black paint covers an earlier Southern green livery. In certain lighting conditions, you can make out the word Southern and a number, possibly 329, on the tank side. I particularly enjoy watching the motion of this slow-moving and controllable clockwork locomotive. 